guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2010 Toyota Highlander Hybrid. This one is a limited hybrid model as well. As you can see, it's finished off in a black exterior, which looks great on the vehicle. Outside, you do have your chrome accented door handles with intelligent entry built in. Up top, this one does have a sunroof and your roof rails with crossbars. You also do have your body colored mirrors and hybrid badges, tinted privacy glass on the rear, and your fuel cap is on the driver's side. Rear backup camera, as well as once again your hybrid and limited badges. Come up, this is one of my favorite parts about the Highlander, is you can come up, press right there, and it will release the glass to access your trunk. The trunk on this one as well is power, or power assisted. You can open it up, and then press that to close it. And you can also release and close that from the key. This one is riding on Goodyear Assurance tires, which are in good shape. And they are 245, 55, or 19s, so 19-inch alloy wheels for your disc brakes. This being a hybrid, it does have the regenerative brakes and all of that as well. Up front, halogen headlights, fog lights. And in typical Toyota hybrid fashion, the headlight housings have this very neat looking, almost kind of very light blue tint to them. Get in, start this one up. Does include your typical Toyota Intelligent Entry key with lock. Unlock, trunk release, and panic. Intelligent Entry. Just come up, grab the door handle to unlock, and touch right here to lock. Inside, this one does have the sand beige leather interior, Highlander hybrid door sills, and everything inside is in fantastic shape. Foot on the brake and press right here to start. Close the door. Just have the key fob in the vehicle and you're good to go. Inside, this one does have a leather wrap steering wheel. Your audio system, Bluetooth phone, and uh, temperature controls on the wheel. Bluetooth phone, voice commands, and your cruise control. Very light power steering. On the door, it's rubberized material up top, padded around here, and padded leather on your armrest. You have the wood grain accenting in the Limited. Your automatic driver's side window, power locks, and power mirrors are over here. Heated windshield, as well as your gauge shimmer and trunk release. Storage, and then your parking brake and hood release are down below. Dashboard is all a rubberized material, typical Toyota. In the middle you have your gauges, you have your charge gauge right there, engine temperature as well as fuel gauge, uh, speedometer, and then this one has just under 86,000 miles on it. In the middle is your display up top, different vehicle statuses and uh, things like that will show up on it, as well as two air vents. And then right here, this one does have your JBL audio system from the factory, which sounds great. Really is a nice system. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary and satellite radio, Bluetooth, as I said. And this one is equipped with navigation, as you can see right there. All comes up on the display. Press that. And it will drop the display so you can load your CD or your map disc for the navigation. All that's very nice and simple to use. It will all come up on the display. Go to different information, display, settings, things like that. Menus, everything else. Down below, dual zone automatic climate control. Heated seats for the driver and passenger. Controlled by right here. Little knobs. Auxiliary in and then your 12 volt outlet. Two cup holders, and then right here is the shifter for your CVT transmission. Region braking mode. Reverse, does have a rear backup camera. EV mode on and off, as well as your econ mode on and off, and some storage. Two cup holders, and all of this has the wood grain around it in the middle. Padded armrest back here. Storage inside. As well as the seats in this vehicle are very comfortable. Padded leather, high quality, they fit you great. And they're, as you'd expect from Toyota, very comfortable. Sunroof up top, as well as interior lighting controls, garage home link, and everything else. Sunglasses container, which does double as a rear conversation mirror, and this vehicle does have a auto dimming review mirror right there. Vanity mirrors, as well as lighting, and this can go out 
and extend. Go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, unlock everything, and pop the hood. And you can hear the vehicle is on at the moment, but is in EV mode and is running completely silent. Inside the back seat, you can access the third row from right here. You can drop that down, access it, and see all of that. Get a better look from the other side. But in the second row, everything follows through with your material qualities on the door as well as your padded armrest. You have plenty of store or plenty of leg room back here. It's comfortable, exactly as you'd expect. Captain's chairs in the middle with armrests built in, just like that. And this centerpiece does fold down and is removable, and you can store it inside of this compartment. Climate controls for rear passengers, they are automatic, as well as you do have cup holders for rear passengers as well. Back seat pockets on each side, as well as air vents up top and handles. Interior lighting in the middle. As I said, the trunk is power assisted. Go ahead and open it. Third row is up at the moment, but pull right there, drop the headrest, and then pull right there to fold it down. And you can see the amount of cargo space that will give you. You do have different tie downs, things like that on the side, as well as cup holders. And then you can release the second row from right here, fold them down flat, power outlet as well. Very simple operation. Close that. And on this side, easier access to the third row. Just release this, and the seat will fold and slide forward. front you have a power passenger seat, door sills follow through with the Highlander hybrid badging. I mean overall this is a very clean vehicle, of storage, all of that, and all of the original owner's literature is included inside of here. lights on as well as the fog lights and you can see halogen headlights and under the hood on this one this one does have Toyota's 3.3 liter v6 third to your hybrid synergy drive system everything under here is in great shape running fantastic it's a very smooth and surprisingly quick power plant in this vehicle and of course being a hybrid you get fantastic gas mileage this one does even have a interstate battery. Also did forget to mention earlier in the video, but you can see up front, excuse the pollen on the vehicle, it's just kind of unavoidable at this time of the year. But this one does have a Toyota OEM clear bra installed to prevent rock chips and different things like that on the hood. You can see it's definitely done its job. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Headlights back in automatic mode. Move the key, cut the vehicle off right here. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.